Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Swissman15 and welcome back to this grand campaign hot seat where we play as the Nordic Germanic Empire. Now you may hear in my voice that I'm a bit sick right now, I got a sore throat, a cough, some phlegm, phlegm de phlegm. But uh, the show must go on, I'm not stopping the hot seat just because of my sickness. And um, recently we have been doing too well, but I think it's about to turn around this turn. So let's go straight inside of it, start the turn, end of turn report, the Turks are dominating everything. Papal states uh, have the most money, but it seems that we're not the worst militarily. We probably beat one person, maybe Scotland. Um, there are 15 players, so it might be beating the uh, Papal states. That'd be awkward. But we are definitely ahead of one player in financial, and we're definitely ahead of two in production. So that's good, I guess. Okay. Um, you know what would be funny? We do have this guy here. He can't reach anything for this turn, but we could just maybe try and bribe this place. He doesn't have any general, so let's try it. Bribe. Okay, that's not where. All right, whatever you say, sir. We're just gonna go this way and go talk to Poland for trade rights and stuff. All right. So what I hope to accomplish this turn is to take uh, Stettin over here, because. Um, People want me to go for the HRE, but he's vowed not to attack me. I don't believe a word he says, but he's vowed not to. I don't really care. It's just that doesn't change the fact that if I go after him and provoke even more war, it's just going to be harder for me in the long run. I need to establish myself before I make any wars against like Poland or HRE or going over to Scotland or anything. Before doing anything crazy, like declaring another war, I'm going to just establish myself, take out maybe Stettin, maybe, uh, what's that called? I'm drawing a blank, but there's a settlement over there that I could take. But we're going to start this turn by taking Stettin. I believe we can probably sneak in with our agents. Uh, we'll just try to be safe. Let's separate those because we're going to do a few ship actions over here. First, we're going to ship this guy here and over to Stettin. Wow, he just makes it. Wonderful. He got inside. 32% chance. You might not, you might not need to send both our spies. So let's just try and join the crusade because we can save some upkeep, double our uh, distance of movement and stuff. We're gonna send these pilgrims over here, and we're gonna see if we can get inside. We can. Okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, so we'll join that fleet. Go right there. We can get more. We're going to take them all, all join hands, join here, combine these fleets here, and I know that we, we're not going to attack the HRE, but we have to keep an eye on them, so I'm going to put this guy in here, I'm mostly saying that because I don't want to freak him out and thinking, <gasps> he's plotting to take Hamburg, I'm just checking, I'm just looking around, see now I have nice eyes around you for your, any of your devious maneuvers that you might do trying to take back our Hus. You can see he's still got a fleet over here, but I don't think he can come and take it in one turn. But just to be on the side of caution, we're going to get to the spy here so he can't sneak in. He's going to be our friend here. And uh, let's probably begin the assault. Let's just see, is there anything else I want to do? Move that guy. Oh, we can move him. See how long it takes us to get down here. Probably a while, but still. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what do we want? We want food. But I already ate today. So, anyway, uh, let's see. We Right, this only has peasants, and we do have a spy here. So we could try and sneak these troops in. I don't want to necessarily go to war with Poland, though. So we're just going to see. Depends how it is in the next few turns. If he... If I become friendly with him, I'm probably going to do some diplom diplomatic talks and see how we stand. Maybe I can try to buy it from him because I don't want to go to war with him. Um, or if he's getting attacked by like 10 people at once, which I doubt, but it's possible. We could always sneak in and just take Stockholm for ourselves. Worst case scenario, he takes us as a massive threat and uh, invades us, which would be awkward, but understandable. Um, <laughs> Alright, we're just going to go and take Stettin now. For victory! Yes, show no mercy. Doom, 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 doom. My throat is so sore. Ah. All right, we're gonna not fight in this weather. It's decent. 
Alright, all of you deploy back, group up our archers, get them all skirmish mode. Alright, we got everything where we want it to be. Get all of you in loose formation. We're gonna send... Actually, we'll make sure these guys are grouped up, because we're just gonna use the pilgrims for this attack, I think, if we can. Uh, that way we don't have to waste good value troops on this settlement over here. Keep our reserves back here. Get our super reserves. This is the bulk of force of our army is these spearmen. Get these guys. You're actually going to run up with these pilgrims just for morale support. Yes. Good job, spy. I think his name's Colbine. Colbine, good job. Uh, you're going to run in. You guys are going to be ready to run in. And you're going to be there for morale support. Archers, you're going to be ready to fire upon our, your enemies inside the city. And you two are going to go around the back side here. Is that the sea? Oh yes, it's a coastline city. <laughs> of course, this city is not to scale in any way because it is kind of small. Like, there's no way all these troops could just fit in here. That building here and here. And also have all the inhabitants of the city that stay there all the time, so it's never scale. These cities are not scale. I don't know why I'm talking about it, but it came to my mind. Alright, so let's begin the assault by Archer. <laughs> and we got our religious pilgrims going in, or just pilgrims are their name? Just pilgrims. Okay, we're gonna try to keep the angle so our archers get good volleys, and you can see they're already devastating the ranks of these town militia. An attack. Oh, he's got his own peasant archers, but they'll be dead soon enough as these pilgrims make their way around. <clears throat> Alright, let's speed it up a bit. It's not that difficult to battle, we're just gonna let them fight it out. Oh, you guys are dying quickly. Come on, stop dying. What are you doing? Alright, you guys are gonna go right here. Get them crossfire going. Okay, these crossbows are fine with their angle. You guys are fine also. Alright, are you coming to, out to fight me? You are. Okay. We're gonna just engulf this. Oh, it's the general's unit. It's got 151. So we might use that to our advantage. Actually, we'll just keep this one unit here and sneak this other one in. Good, good. Good tidings. Oh. <laughs> we can actually sandwich him a bit. Alright. Take that unit out. Fair enough. Um, you guys continue the uh, crossfire assault. We capture the gateway, yay! Slow down, slow it down, let's see, all good. Wow, look at the devastation our archers have wrecked upon our enemies here. Actually, we could probably get some crossfire on their archers, just in case they try to shoot us back. This unit's almost completely gone, so we're gonna take you guys. Oh, we captured the enemy's general. Wonderful, okay. Go there, you guys, all of you. This unit will also come here. So now we got the uh, sandwich going on, using pretty much all our pilgrims. We got one unit in reserve of pilgrims for a later attack. Just hold on one second, guys. Just got to pause it quickly. All right, sorry about that. Let's get straight back to the battle at hand. I can't ever go through without an interruption, so I'm sorry. I can't even find quiet time to record anymore. It's not possible. My family's always around my house perks of being a high school student <laughs> I'm a senior I'll be out soon enough all right so that's good oh my god I love my archers right now they are the MVPs taking out pretty much all the unit just using the pilgrims as a tiring bait for them just see if we can concentrate on the archers now because they're the main force that we have to take out okay Pilgrim's getting a little bit tired from all the running they've done, but that's, that's alright by me. 
Let's speed it up once again. I'm just taking out all the archers. Yeah, just gotta watch them die. How much they got left? 3% of their army? Alright, we're gonna stop our archers from shooting because they don't need to. We're just gonna hit our own guys. Stop. Yes, end battle. Ha ha ha. Wonderful. We took the settlement. And we're in a second for all the loot that we can get. And we can't really buy anything here, we're just gonna merge the troops that we can. There we go, they'll stay there for the turn, for the time being. And then we will do the little tricks so they don't start deserting on us, I'll show you that the next turn. Let's get some town militia over here. I wish we could get more, but... Hmm. We could try and get troops here, but we just don't have the, uh, the extra cash at the time <laughs> to do so. We just need to make sure that we have enough troops over here. Well, I mean, actually, we could just run back if he attacks us, so we're going to get some Huskarls up here. I like that. Can't really get them out yet because we need our fleet. But uh, probably recruit some more later on next turn just to start moving troops here and forth and back and forth. We're going to have the next turn, we're going to start with 2,728, so that's a lot more than we did this turn, so we're definitely going up in cash reserves. We got our spy here, so that's good. We're going to get this priest over here so we can convert the populace. And we're just going to quickly look at the stats and end it all with this turn. The top five, we are going back up. We are never really past this score number, I don't know what it's based on. Um, and we're really far behind the fifth, which is... Uh, Turkey? No, it's Milan. Yeah, Milan. Uh, militarily, we've gone down, but so is the HRA, probably from our, by our hands. Everyone else is going up. Um, Production-wise, we are not too bad. Who are we above? Probably Scotland. Yep. Not Russia. Not Moors. Well, I mean, they're dead, so it doesn't really count. They're dead. Okay, it's not any of those guys. Venice? Nope. Oh, Papal States. And England! We beat England! Ha ha ha! Okay, um... Let's go to back to top five. There we go. Territorially, we are at two, but we're gonna go to three. Um... So, where's Scotland in that mix? Wow, Scotland's better than us. Russia's better than us, but not for long. Milan's doing fine for themselves. Everyone's doing pretty good in getting settlements. But we'll be going up soon enough. Not too not too shabby. I'm proud of where we are thus far. Financially, uh, we'll be going up. It seems that Egypt is plummeting to the ground faster than you can imagine. Um, Poland, interesting. France. Oh, why is this not top five anymore? Top five. Okay. Oh, neighboring factions. Not just Poland and the HRE, which we are, of course, the worst of all. Oh, uh, well. All right, so that's everything that matters because everyone's got population, but nobody really cares about population. So that's where we'll end the turn. We'll have um, an heir in about 22 turns. Our king will not die of old age by then, but he might be killed in battle, which would be terrible. But uh, as long as we protect him with our spies and such and keep the massive army near him, um, we should be fine. <laughs> Just make sure this never gets caught out somewhere and make sure it always has a spy so we can be the aggressive one fighting against the odds and stuff. But hopefully we're not in a massive war for a while. It's only 22 turns <laughs> until an heir comes along. Alright, so that's everything. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think, uh, what you want me to do, what you think I should do. We got everything secure right now. Um, definitely, should, if we should go for this... Uh, Settlement over here, it's a rebel settlement. Don't really remember the name. Um, yeah, that's everything. Have we forgotten to move? Oh, we got that guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. Okay, so that's everything. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's end the turn here. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, my friends.